few months ago, I made a video about the proposed Houston to Dallas high-speed rail line, a revolutionary infrastructural undertaking slated to connect Texas's two largest cities with a 90-minute travel time. Texas Central, the company behind it, has claimed from the very beginning that it would be entirely privately funded. If successful, this would be a revolutionary project opening up new possibilities for the future of Texas transportation. Since then, a lot has happened, and despite some major wins for the railroad, it now more than ever appears the project is in jeopardy. Let's find out how it got here and take a look at the uncertain future of Texas Central. It's been 10 years since Texas Central announced their plans for a Houston to Dallas bullet train, an announcement that elicited both excitement and skepticism from the very beginning. Over the next few years, the company raised capital, pursued environmental and transportation permits, and formed partnerships with construction and operating companies. It appeared the project was on track, if behind schedule. Texas Central increasingly dotted the headlines throughout 2022, but the problems that led to the project's current issues really go back to the start. The company had long exceeded their original estimate, going from $12 billion to over $30 billion. This is an inconvenient but not unexpected event in construction projects like this, especially given the past few years of extreme cost escalation. Texas Central also had a major legal hurdle to clear. The private company's ability to use eminent domain was held up in state courts, a multi-year battle between landowners who did not want to sell their land and the rail line that could not feasibly be built without it. Opponents included Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton, who filed a brief on behalf of the landowners, and Texans Against High Speed Rail, a group led by a Waller County judge that argues the project will end up a boondoggle seeking a federal bailout and that the company's seizure of land would be a violation of property rights. The latter group even mounted a legal defense fund to fight Texas Central's attempts at land seizure. The divide on Texas Central has been largely rural versus urban. Houston and Dallas stand to benefit the most from the project while the rural areas the path travels through will be essentially bypassed. Railroads have long had the ability to use eminent domain, but opponents claim that since Texas Central was not an operating railroad, they should not have the ability to employ it. All of this was set to come to a head in June of 2022, when the battle was headed to the state Supreme Court. But just weeks before the ruling was set to take place, the CEO of Texas Central announced his resignation, and the rest of the board quickly disbanded. This major loss of direction was followed by what should have been a highly celebrated legal victory. On June 24, 2022, the Texas Supreme Court determined Texas Central was eligible to use eminent domain to acquire its right-of-way. This came at an odd time given the project's recent management shakeup. As of now, no announcement has been made that the project is dead or tabled, but it seems Texas Central has certainly lost its once vigorous momentum. Now, even if Texas Central as we know it is dead in the water, the groundwork they laid for this project is a huge step forward. This is the state's second serious attempt at high-speed rail, and the Supreme Court ruling sets a precedent for the project, whether it's Texas Central or a new attempt in the future. The company already owns some of the route line. Voluntary acquisitions begin years before the state Supreme Court ruling. Though efforts have for all intents and purposes stopped, and some of the already negotiated purchase options have been allowed to release back to the owners. As of now, there is only one privately owned intercity rail line in the U.S., the Bright Line in Florida. If Texas Central goes according to planned, it would be the second. So where do things go from here? Was high-speed rail in Texas always just a pipe dream? Can someone swoop in, pick up the pieces, and make the project successful? Fight it out in the comments. As always, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and come with me on the next adventure.